Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial from EnlistQ where I will cover the basics of KDB. I've met a lot of people with no prior knowledge of KDB and have really seen them get confused about the KDB landscape. What KDB is, what's its history, who are the major players and who uses it, etc. Hopefully, this video will be able to answer all those questions. So what exactly is KDB Plus NQ? Simply put, KDB is a columnar time series database as opposed to a relational database. In a columnar database, each column is stored as a separate file on disk. Both columnar and relational databases have their pros and cons depending on how you plan on using them. But when working with time series data, especially in finance, columnar data databases work better. <coughs> KDB comes with its own language called uh, Q, which is a vector programming language. This means that Q can process list of numbers very quickly in a single operation. So you really should never have to use loops, which are usually very slow when dealing with large data sets anyways. In fact, my ex manager warned me to never use loops. And if I ever think that loops are the only way to solve a particular problem, then I should come see him so he can prove me wrong. Q, despite looking like gibberish, to be honest, is a very powerful functional language. It is interpreted as opposed to compiled. It is also a very interesting language because it is read right to left, or as Q gods like to say, left off right. This may seem very weird at first or second or the third time, but believe me, once you get comfortable with the language, you start seeing the benefits of having it this way. Or at least I, I hope you do, or else you're doing something wrong. Finally, KDB and Q are owned by a company called KX which was just recently acquired by first derivatives. Now let's go over Q's history briefly. Q is derived from a programming language called APL, which stands for, well, a programming language. <laughs> I'm not really sure why this specific name was chosen. It's kind of like naming a painting untitled. Anyways, APL gave way to A, then A+, which then led to K, as you can tell, there's some weird thing going on here with the naming convention, but we'll let it be. K was invented by Arthur Whitney, who had worked with APL back in the day with its inventor, Ken Iverson. In 1988, Arthur helped develop A plus at Morgan Stanley. In 1993, Arthur co-founded KX with Janet to commercialize K. In 2003, KX released Q, which had a database built into it and that database was called KDB. So who uses KDB? Q and KDB is, are not really well known compared to some other languages and databases out there. So you might really wonder who uses it. KDB has always been mostly used by major financial institutions such as Morgan Stanley, Deutsche Bank, RBC, JP Morgan, etc. It's also used by some other smaller financial institutions uh, some buy side or some exchanges such as IEX, SEC, Millennium Partners, Point72, etc. Recently, with the emergence of high volume time series data in our daily lives, thanks to Internet of Things devices, a lot of companies from different industries have found KDB to be useful. Now, these industries range from pharmaceuticals to energy companies. Finally, before we wrap up, I would like to cover different resources available to you if you're interested in learning Q and KDB. First, go ahead and set up QKDB 64-bit version using Conda. We have a video tutorial on how to do that. You can also download KDB directly from the URL listed on this slide. As of 2018, there are two books available on KDB. Q for Mortals is a great one, which is what I used when I was first learning KDB. In 2015, Nick wrote Q-Tips, which from what I've heard is a very <clears throat> helpful book as well. Now, if anyone wants to buy me a copy of Q-Tips so I can review it, I'll happily, happily accept it. There is a Google group where you can post your questions as well without being judged. Of course, there's Stack Overflow as well. Finally, there's some blogs out there that you can use to stay up to date with the KDB world. There is EnlistQ, where we discuss data analytics broadly, uh, and KDBQ as well. We also have a YouTube channel where we share video tutorials, including this video. We have uh, AquaQ's blog, which is very helpful. 
KX also has an official blog which includes white papers and announcements about latest features and libraries. All right, this is it. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can email me at himanshu at enlistq.com. Cheers.